Hello everyone. Now I want you to have a look at the shapes that I've drawn on this piece of paper. Okay. Now, first job is you need to get your pointy fingers and you need to point to the circle. Okay. Have you got it yet? This one is a circle. Should we talk about the circle? A circle has got one side that goes all the way around like this, okay? And it doesn't have any corners. So it has one side and no zero corners. Next shape I want you to do is find me the triangle, okay? Find me the triangle. Are you pointing to it? And here it is, here's the triangle. Now, a triangle has one, two, three sides. The sides are all straight. And then it has these pointy bits here. The proper word for those are corners, okay? And it has one, two, three corners. So a triangle has three sides and three corners. Now, can you find me a square, okay? Get your pointy finger and point to the square. Have you got it? Very good. This is a square. And a square, let's count the sides on a square, shall we? It's got one, two, three, four sides. And it also has, can you remember these? They're called corners. It has one, two, three, four corners. Okay? The thing with a square is the sides are all the same. You don't have sides that are long and sides that are short. The sides are all the same. Now, can you point to a rectangle now? Have a little look. Where's the rectangle? That's right, this is a rectangle. Should we count the sides on the rectangle then? One, two, three, four. Four sides and also one, two, three, four corners. And with a rectangle, because a square has four sides and four corners, and a rectangle has four sides and four corners. But the thing with a rectangle is the, a rectangle has two longer sides, these are the longer sides, and two shorter sides. The sides aren't all the same with a rectangle. Not like with a square when the sides all are all the same. Okay, so we're going to do another little shape job now. And what we've got is, I have got here, I've got here, my little bag. And in my little bag, I've got some shapes. And I want you to try and work out what my shapes are when I describe them to you. Okay? So, let me feel. Oh, can you hear them? So, first of all, I'm holding a shape. The shape that I'm holding has got one side. The side seems to go all the way around. Doesn't have any corners. It's got one side, no corners. Can you guess what it is? Which shape doesn't have any, doesn't have any corners, but has one side that keeps going? Can you guess? Do you want to see a little bit of it? There's a little bit of it there. What do you think it is? It's a, what is it? It's a circle. Very good. It's a plate. A little toy plate. Pop it down there. Next shape I've got has got, oh, it's got one, two, three. It's got four sides. Four sides. And the sides all feel the same. And it's got four corners as well. So which shape has got four sides and four corners? Hmm. Do you want to see a bit of it? There's a bit of it. 
Can you think what it is? It is a... What is it? It's a square. A square. Well done if you got that. I'll put that one down there. Now, I've got another shape here. Oh, it's a big, big one, actually. Big shape. And I can feel one, two. I can feel three sides. And I can feel one, two, three corners. So, three sides and three corners. Oh, I wonder what that could be. Should we have a little look? A little look at a bit of it? There's a bit of it. A bit more. What do you think it is? That's my shape. What is it? It's a triangle. Very good. Now, let me see in my bag. Oh, I've got one more shape. One more shape and I can feel... Oh, it's only a small version of this shape. But I can feel one, two, three, four. Four sides and... Oh, four corners as well. So, four sides, four corners. What could it be? B, do you want to see a bit of it? Ooh, what is it? It's a rectangle. Very good, rectangle. Okay, so let me just put my bag away. I found some shapes from around my house. So my square was a lid from a box. My circle was a little toy plate. My rectangle was a little gift card, actually, from a present. My triangle was a type of posh rulers that older children use. I've also got some sticky tape. What shape's that? Mm, that's right, a circle. I've got some sticky notes, and the sticky notes are very good, squares. Okay, so there's lots of things of different shapes you can find around your house. I'm going to give you two jobs. First job is I want you to look around your house, see if you can find things that are circle shaped, rectangle shaped, square shaped and triangle shaped. And maybe you can make a little collection of them like I have here. Job number two, I'll just move these away. Job number two, and this is good practice. <clears throat> Not only for you learning more about your shapes, but using your pencil as well, is to get a piece of paper and have a go at drawing a circle, drawing a triangle, drawing a square and drawing a rectangle. Just have a little go. Now, you can either get your, ask your grown-up to draw one first and you can copy it. Or if you press pause now, then get your piece of paper. You can copy mine. Okay, but just have a little go. Okay then, good work everyone. Bye.